So here we go. Emily, how's it looking? Ah! <laughs> like that, Nat. Well, that went well, better than rehearsed, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moving on to the weather, I think there might be some frozen pitches by the end of the weekend. It is turning very cold. Before we get on to the forecast, though, we'll take a little look around our coastline. If, uh, like me, you don't live close to the coast, you're probably missing the bit of sea air. So a lovely view from the cliffs at Bude and right in the rock pools at Exmouth. Thanks to our weather watchers for getting out and about today. But it is turning cold across the weekend. There'll be some more sunshine uh, through tomorrow. A few showers as well. A cloudier day on Saturday, possibly a few wintry flurries into the east but it is becoming very cold everywhere by the end of the weekend and it's cold tonight a few isolated showers will continue there's the risk of some ice with temperatures locally getting down to below freezing as well on the satellite picture uh, you can see there's quite a bit of cloud across mainland europe that is a developing area of low pressure there's been a low across the uk as well and that will gradually fill in and merge with this low to the south as we go through tonight and through tomorrow so we are going to see uh, as that develops more easterly air flowing in and particularly as we get through Sunday and into Monday. The focus of the snow will be to the southeast of England, uh, but we will all see that much colder air into next week as well. And you can see that uh, with those blues which are coming in. That breeze is going to be quite brisk as well, so quite a significant wind chill uh, as we go into next week as well. So on the radar then from today, you can see we have had a few showers and a few of those showers will continue tonight. They do become more isolated, uh, but with these temperatures dropping, there is that warning out from after midnight with the risk of ice on the untreated surfaces. And with those clear skies as well, we're looking at some frost, possibly some mist and fog patches for tomorrow morning as well with those winds turning fairly light. So a chilly start for tomorrow. There'll be some sunshine through Saturday and a few showers around as well. A few more showers into the afternoon across the highest ground of the moors. It could turn a bit wintry but generally falling as rain through tomorrow and we're looking at highs of between 7 and 9 degrees. For the hours of silly tomorrow, I think a fairly dry day here with some spells of sunshine and just light to moderate winds, so fairly fine conditions. Here are the times of high water for tomorrow, the high tide at Plymouth at 12.21 and at Minehead 13.04. The swell is dropping off as we go through the weekend for the surfers. Still some fairly clean waves to be found though, three to four foot waves for parts of the north coast and two to three foot waves along the south. Uh, for the coastal waters forecast for tomorrow, we've got the winds of cyclonic, three to four becoming northeastly, four to five. A few showers out at sea, so good occasionally moderate visibility. So then we have got these temperatures dropping away as we go through into next week. And with that, some fairly strong winds. With these winds coming in from the east or northeast, it's a fairly significant wind chill to go with that. So Sunday does look fairly dry. It will be quite cloudy. The greatest risk of any wintry nuts for us in the southwest will be for parts of Somerset. The Black Down Hills, for example, could catch a few wintry flurries into the early hours of Sunday. But for most of us, it's going to be a dry day and just very cold. Into Monday, then we've got continuing with these cold and cloudy conditions with that breeze is going to feel really chilly. Then on to Tuesday we have got again those cloudy conditions and some sleet and some snow. You ready to catch back Nat? Here we go. <laughs> It's not working. 707. He's still at it, isn't it? 800. Very, very good. Just in case you're worried, we did all have our own balls, didn't we? And they all were sanitised. Well, it doesn't sound right, doesn't it? No, but we were very safe. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night.